What we got here is the fuel pump assembly out of a 2006 Polaris 500. It's the X2HO model. And normally right here, you got this little fuel pressure regulator right here. And they're bad about breaking them plastic tabs that hold them in. So what we're going to do is chunk this thing to the side. And where that goes, just connect that line solid. And what we got going on up here, we ordered us an aftermarket fuel pressure regulator. And these things call for 38 to 40 pound regulators on them. And we're going to adjust this thing to 39 pounds whenever we get everything all put together. I got like 45 extra minutes after this, I got to go straight This line right here is going to go right up here to the fuel pump in the tank. Right here to this right here. And it's sitting in the tank. Got a line right there. We have a line coming off of this fitting right here. Coming straight down here to this fuel filter. Right off in there. Where this line connects to. It's this line right here. It's kind of hard to see, but we'll try to give y'all a better view here in a little bit. That's what we're working on right now. Alright, what we got here is the fuel pressure regulator set up. We got it all connected in now. Right here is the input line for it. Coming off of your fuel pressure, coming straight out through here. That's the pressure line going into it. This is the one coming out, going to your fuel filter. And then right here, we're going to have to adjust that here in a second. We'll show you how, we'll show you how to do that. Here is the return line going right back up into the tank right there on top of the fuel pump assembly. What we did, we cut a little slot right here in the frame so we could mount this, mount this joker in there. Got everything all set up in there. Looks good. Now we'll show you how to adjust it right quick. It's a little bit over 40 whenever it, the pump's on. You need to bring it down right at 40, just a little bit below it. So do that right quick by taking your Allen wrench in there and holding this. Backing that off just a little bit, I think. We might have to tighten it up. It's giving it more pressure. So we need to back that thing off. Just a hair below 40. Call that good right there and tighten that up. Now, when you give this sucker gas, maintains right about 38 to 40 pounds of pressure where it's supposed to. And that's how you bypass the fuel pressure regulator on a 2006 500 Polaris X2HO.